everyone and welcome to this beginner's embroidery workshop. I'm Almaz, an embroidery artist and teacher based in Yorkshire and today I'm going to take you through a few embroidery stitches. So what I'm going to start with is a running stitch. You can see I prepared my needle with my thread and at the end of the thread I've placed a knot. I'm going to start underneath my embroidery. And a running stitch is worked in with this movement down my design line. I need to make this movement along the drawn design line to create a running stitch. And it will give you a dotted line. And there you have your running stitch. The next stitch I'm going to show you is a back stitch. And with the back stitch you want to come out at the top of the line in the same way that you did with your running stitch and make the same first movement. The difference is that now, like the name suggests, we are going to go back. and then move forward like so. so. We've gone back to the same hole and moved it forward. And repeat this across your line and you achieve a solid line. And again, you can make both the running stitch and the back stitch as small or as long as you like. You can try and get everyone exactly the same length, or you can vary them in size. The difference is that you get a dotted line and a solid line. Remember to finish off your last stitch by just going back, but not moving forward. And there you have it, running and a back stitch. This stitch is called a chain stitch. And I'm going to start at the top of my line and then take the needle back just next to where we started. This time I'm going to move and work down the line with my needle, making sure the thread goes underneath. When you pull it, it will create your first chain. And then you continue this movement down the line. Making sure there's a loop created each time. While learning, just be sure to make sure it's physically underneath the needle, if that helps and keep working 
your way down. And then remember just to lock that last stitch in place by stitching it. So now I'm going to show you two stitches that involve using a running stitch and a back stitch. The first one is called a whipped running stitch and you should start at the end of a line of running stitch. Come out just next to it. And then start by whipping your thread through the stitches and not the cloth. If you go into each stitch in the same direction, so right to left, it will start to whip around the original stitching. have a really lovely look to that line and it's changed it from its original stitch. When you come to the end just place the needle back down through the cloth. You can do a similar stitch for the back stitch starting at the end of a line of back stitch And again, I'm going to work through the back stitch and not the fabric. So each stitch, this time I'm alternating sides, left to right, right to left. And you will get a different look to your original line. And then at the end, like we did with the other one, place the thread back down through the cloth. Now I'm going to show you a French knot. And with the French knot, you must bring the thread all the way up from the back till you reach the knot at the back. Hold the thread where it comes from the cloth. And with the needle, you want to wrap this thread round the needle once, twice, could be three times. The more times you wrap, the bigger the knot. Then just go down right next to where you came up, pulling on this bit of thread, and then pull from the back, and you have a French knot. Do a few more for you.
Okay, so this stitch I'm going to show you is called a satin stitch and it's used for filling in an area of space. It's really important to get your stitches as close as possible. So when you've done your first one, you need to bring your needle out as close as you can to that first one, but just next to it. And you're gonna repeat this stitch across a drawn shape or area of your design. And it's a bit of a time consuming stitch, but it's worth it in the end. And this is a block satin stitch, so blocking out an area of colour. But there are other methods that we cover in the full introduction lesson in the live class, such as sat satin shading and colour mixing using two threads. And that's it for today's introduction video. If you'd like to learn more stitches, when you attend the live class, we'll go into a variety of different stitches and we'll also be looking at some samples of these stitches in context, such as the satin stitch, blanket stitch, stem stitch, and more. Thanks for watching everybody. That's all we've got time for today, but if you'd like to attend a longer live workshop, I'm hosting these via Zoom. You can sign up via the Woven website or via my own website, which is elmazyazdani.com. If you follow me at elmazyazdani on Instagram or Facebook, you can find out about the dates of these upcoming events. Thanks again for watching and happy stitching!